Hello friends, Namaskar. In the recent past, you might have noted that the Federal Reserve Bank, United States, has continuously increased the rate of interest. And due to such rate of interest increase, the impact of such rate of interest increase is also seen in India in form of RBI increasing the repo rates from time to time. Now, due to such repo rate increase, what happens that the financial institution and the banks, they also pass on such increase in the rate of interest related effect to their borrowers. Now, whenever such kind of passing on of the rate of interest related uh, kind of additional cost is shared with the customer, what happens that the relevant borrowers loan may come under the ambit of negative amortization. So, through this video, I am trying to put up my views for the benefit of public at large, for the benefit of the borrowers at large, so that they may know that, okay, what is this term negative amortization and how they can come over this negative amortization or what are the solutions to the negative amortization. So, before I discuss with you what is term negative amortization, let me first discuss with you, my friends, what is amortization so that you can better understand the term negative amortization. Let me show it to you through an example. Say, for an example, I have put an EMI month loan amount, return rate of interest, EMI interest and principal in this table, wherein I am assuming that a person, Mr. X, has availed a loan of rupees 35 lakh at 6.5% rate of interest with the EMI being 26,095. You can see that out of this EMI first would be the interest with the bank or NBFC would recover and the remaining amount of 7137 will be credited towards the principal. So this monthly payment which includes principal and this payment of principal is technically called amortization. So under the amortization what happens that from your monthly EMIs after reducing the interest whatever it is for the relevant rate of interest applicable on the borrower, what is going to the principal is called amortization. So, amortization is what? The bifurcation of EMI in form of principal repayment by the relevant borrower or the customer. Now, after you know this what is amortization, I will take you to understand what is a negative amortization. So now let me discuss with you friends what is negative amortization because you know that amortization means that there is EMI bifurcation into interest and principal some amount going into principal. The amount which is going into principal out of EMI is amortization. But in a negative amortization scenario what happens say in the same example 35 lakh rupees loan initiated with 6.5 percent of ROI with 26,095 rupees of EMI. The first month interest was 18,958 and amortization was 7137. Now let's assume after four months the rate of interest enhanced from 6.5 to 7.5. Then with effect from seventh month that is further three months onwards the rate of interest has inched up to 8.5 percent and then from 10th month, because of the increasing rate of interest scenario, the interest rate has further gone up to 9.25%. So you see, at the beginning of 10th month, the principal was 34,60,695. As against the EMI of rupees 26,095, the interest component itself is 26,676. So this interest is higher than the EMI. So, rather than assessing making payment towards principal, there is a short recovery of interest. So, this is a scenario wherein actually no amount will go towards the principal. Whereas, in all the EMIs before this EMI, some amount has at least been going to the principal. So, the scenario under which there is nil or negative amount appearing towards principal is called negative amortization. So, this is a dangerous position, my dear friends, because Ideally, what will happen then if this position continues, every month there is a short payment. So that short payment of interest would further be added up in your principal to recover more. So this loan will be a never ending case. So the negative amortization is something which is not sought for by anybody at all. So after understanding amortization, you understood what is negative amortization. 
Now, once you understood negative amortization, a question which would arise in your mind is, okay, Mr. Bhatia, let us know what is the solution which one can go into for sorting out this position of negative amortization. So, let me discuss now with you that how to come out of the scenario of negative amortization, what are the probable options available to the uh, borrower for this particular kind of case. So now comes the question, how to control negative amortization? So as I discussed with you, my dear friends, that no bank or NBFC would envisage a situation under which they would accept your negative amortization. So what is the solution available to the borrower as and when a negative amortization would arise? Or what is the solution which is being expected from the bank side or NBFC side, which you are supposed to give as a result to them? Either you think about increasing the EMI. Because if your present EMI is not able to sort out the present or to pay the present interest payment which is due on the EMI or the principal outstanding, then there is no other option left but to increase the EMI. Or second, you may be asked to make certain principal prepayment. Usually what happens, I tell you that whenever there will be a negative amortization, the bank would increase your EMI by default. So how would they do it? Suppose 240 months was the loan period. 10 months you paid and the loan come under negative amortization. Now suppose as I said earlier that as compared to 26,095, if suppose 26,500 is your interest, then bank would be forced to increase your EMI. Now suppose for the remaining term of 230 months, the new EMI to set off that particular loan amount is just an imaginary figure comes to 28,500. So what the bank would do that would increase your EMI from this level to this level. This would mean that you are supposed to take care about enhanced EMI payment. So I know that it is not an easy scenario that because everybody is quite tight with his or her financial obligation, increasing the EMI would mean the additional burden only. But this is one of the, and I may say mostly, this is the solution which is given by the bank. However, if you can arrange some funds in between, say a lump sum payment out of your loan of rupees 35 lakh, say which has come down to 35, 34.8 lakh. Suppose you say, okay, I wish to offer 3 lakh rupees one time prepayment. This will reduce your principal outstanding and then maybe your present EMI may be able to serve the interest and principal both. Now a question would arise in your mind, Mr. Bhatia, let me know, how would I know that what would be my revised EMI or what would be the amount of principal prepayment which is required from my side? A very genuine question which may arise from the side of borrower. The solution to this question would basically be given by the relevant bank or NBFC as they will let you know that okay, with the present scenario, with the present rate of interest, how much of your EMI should be increased or how much prepayment you should make to keep your EMI same for the remaining period. So you can very well ask them and they are supposed to reply to your queries to let you know that okay, these are the probable options which are available to you. Now, as I said that two solutions are available, I am first discussing the example on uh, whenever there is a negative amortization and we are enhancing the EMI. Say in the previous example which I discussed with you, in the EMI month, the loan amount, same ROI 6.5, EMI being this, interest being this, amortization being 7137. We noted that from 4 month, the 4th month, the rate of interest enhanced, then 7th, it has inched up to 8.5 and then in 10th month, it has gone to 9.25. Now, the EMI from 1st to 9th month was going 26095 and it was somehow serving the principal. But as we have seen earlier that with this principal and this rate, the loan went into negative amortization. So suppose the SSE enhances the EMI to 28,500 rupees, say by approximately 2,405 rupees. So what will happen? Now this EMI is able to serve the interest and some portion of the EMI is also going into principal. So if there is a negative amortization, you are available with one option of enhancing the EMI to control the negative amortization situation. Yet I know that this is something not 
anticipated or acceptable to the customer who has availed a loan from a bank but you are left with no other option but to think about increasing the EMI if possible. Now let me take you to the second solution my dear friends by way of an example so that you can understand that okay how we can mitigate the impact of negative amortization where we take a call of making principal repayment. Let me put it up through an example. In the same example which I have been putting up before you, let's assume the EMI is given in terms of month, EMI first, second, third, fourth, etc. The loan amount 35 lakh, let's assume I say 240 months, that is 20 years loan, which commences with 6.5% of ROI, EMI being 26,095, interest for first month and the remaining principal that is amortized. Then it kept on happening that interest rate after every three months was changing and latest interest rate increase has taken up this loan to 9.25%. Now see with this principal being outstanding, EMI being only 26,095, the interest component is already higher. Therefore, there is a negative amortization which now you will understand. Now let's assume the SSE takes a call of making a payment of rupees 2 lakh or the customer or the borrower has taken a call of making payment of rupees 2 lakh towards the principal. So the principal will come down from 3460 to 32,60,000. And with this same interest rate, which is a new change rate, and with the same EMI, the interest component has reduced from 26,676 to 25,134. And therefore, there is some amount which is going towards the principal also. So, you can say that, okay, Mr. Bhatia, now I'm sure that yes, there is a impact of principal repayment through which my loan has come out of negative amortization. Now a question comes that, okay, which option is better? Should you think of making a principal prepayment or should you think of making a uh, EMI increase? In my opinion, either of these options can be worked out, which is convenient to the relevant borrower or there can be a combination of both of them also. So the call is to be taken by the relevant borrower. Secondly, I would also like to highlight that whatever bank or financial institution with whom you have availed this loan, you can reach out to them and tell them that, okay, I want a solution in either of these format or a combination of format. So tell me how my loan will come out of negative amortization and how this can be further mitigated in terms of keeping my term same or keeping my EMI at the present level. So they will give you a solution over that. At the end, my dear friends, I know that negative amortization is something not expected by the borrower at all. But unfortunately, the present rate of interest increase may continue for further three months or six months down the line. But you will see in the one year or two year, there should be cooling down of the interest rate and they may be again coming down to a reasonable level. So till that happens, you have to think of opting for either of increasing the EMI or for making a principal payment or having a combination of both of these. And I know the pain which can be borne by a borrower would be immense, but there is no other option but to think of either of these options which I have discussed with you. So if you have any queries on negative amortization, you can write to me. I'll try to give solution for the same. Thank you for being with me. Wishing you all the best. Jai.